Welcome to today's video. Artist pigments, aren't they seductive and so addictive for all artists? No matter how many of them we have, it seems like there is always one of them which we wish we had, but we don't, for now at least. In the next round, I'm sure it will be in your art box as soon as you can get your hands on it. And Cobalt Violet Pink is one of those. It is one of the pigments I really admire. And whenever I paint flower paintings such as this one here, which is a gorgeous pink purple iris, I make sure I use Cobalt Violet for those soft, beautiful, light pink purple transitions between light and shadow areas. Why do I do that? Well, there are a few properties which this pigment has, which no other pigment on the market has. And before we go into that, let's first take care of the most important property, which is this pigment imposes ha health hazard. So it contains heavy metal cobalt and it must not be inhaled or indigested. Even when you make your own paint, make sure you wear gloves, you wear mask, you wear um, eye protection so that none of it gets on any surface, including any surface on your body, because it is, your health is of course, utmost important in the entire world. So we should be very careful with that. Now, this pigment here has been purchased in Kama pigments in Canada, but it's available in Kramer pigments and some other pigment supplies all around the world. And what differentiates this pigment from other artist pigments and this pigment from all other pigments out there is one property which is very, very unique. And that is this soft, beautiful glowing pink color which no other pigment on the market really has and especially the light fastness and weather fastness which this pigment has which is eight out of eight on a blue wool scale so to repeat there is no other pigment on the market which has this hue neither combination of other pigments on the market where you can, by mixing or layering, get this hue and accomplish the highest possible light fastness and weather fastness, which is 8 on a blue wool scale from 1 to 8. Out of all pigments, only selected few can be used for artistic purposes. And out of many properties which artist pigments must have, one of them is their light fastness and weather fastness. Only pigments which have seven or eight on a blue wool scale can be used for artistic purposes. Sometimes we have pigment which has five or six, but those are considered fugative pigments. So for me, that is one of very important properties which this pigment has and the reason why I used it in my paintings. So here you can see very beautiful pink purple iris I'm working on currently, which is work in progress. And in this section here, you can see along this shadow ridge where light turns into shadow, I applied very soft layer of cobalt violet pink and that creates that natural transition, which communicates that this petal turns inside and gives that three-dimensionality to the painting so that the flower looks as if you can pick it and hold in your hand. And for me, to make sure that this painting stands the test of time and lasts another few hundred years is very important. And that's why I choose to use cobalt violet pink in my paintings. The next property is hue. Um, hue is very, very unique. It almost looks like um, fluorescent, but it isn't. It is actually very light fast pigment. Now, talking about working properties of this pigment, 
This pigment has very light value. It is probably the most three or four on the scale from one to ten. One being the lightest, ten being the darkest. You probably, if you apply multiple layers, can only get up to three or four, not higher than that. But it is not meant to be used for creating deep and dark hues. It is actually meant to be used to create that glowing light pink hues. And that's why there isn't much use of applying this pigment at the top of any other pigment which is already darker than three or four because it is just going to become invisible. The best it can be applied at very at the top of very light hues and usually as the last layer because here we come to the next property of this pigment. It is heavy, it is granulating and if applied in under layers in subsequent layers, you're just going to lift it up and would not be visible. So when applied, this pigment needs to be applied as the last layer. And because it is heavy and it is very easy to lift, it should stay there as the last pigment layer. And <clears throat> when you make your own watercolor paint, as I've done here and I swatched it, doesn't matter how much pigment I apply, I still can't go any darker than this. That's pretty much all that pigment can do. When you look at it in the tube or when it's dried, of course it has much darker hue because it is the color of wet pigment and when it dries it's going to look like this. But when used and diluted with water, it will create this stunning glowing pink, which I really love very much. Now, um, talking about another important component, which is price, this pigment is quite expensive. Usually it's marked as Series 4 or Series 5 in many paint manufacturing um, catalogs, which means it is quite expensive. Probably Schmincke or Horadam or other brands currently run about $40 for this pigment but if you would like to get it more economical option is to buy pigment itself and then make your own watercolor or oil of course taking care of all health related precautions while doing so. So this is what I wanted to share with you cobalt violet pink its unique glow its extreme light fastness and usability in the paintings you would like to stand test of time and it's certainly a beautiful and viable options for today's artists when we want to create something which glows and it is going to stand the test of time for hundreds of years to come. So I hope that you learned something today and I hope this video contributes to your art education and that would be all I have for today. See you in the next video. Have a great day.